Hey guys, if you could please sign my petition to inspire its Alex Clark to tour in Northern Ireland, all you need to do is fill out this short amount of information. You could make up a fake address if you don't want, or you could also hide your name or comment. Privacy is respected. It doesn't take that long to sign the petition. Thank you. Quickly before we start the video, if you didn't already know, we have merch now available, including t-shirts, mugs, bags, and more. There will be more designs coming soon. Click the link below to get yours today. Thank you. Hey yo 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 guys, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you are doing well. This? Ignore this, alright? So, today was absolutely litty because I went to see a movie that was absolutely brilliant. Let's just get this as far away from my face as possible so I don't scare my audience and I need to cross my legs. Um, really, really tightly hurting my pee, pee But I need to, uh, show you guys this. Peppa Pig proof. The, that's the one I meant to say. I even have photos of the cinema. Not just for proof, but because it was an absolutely great time. So, let's talk a little bit about the movie. Peppa Pig. Festive, all of fun. And fun it was. We have George here, which I'm too lazy to take off the thing. But, uh, there we go. Hi, I'm George. Um, would I say this was better than the first one? My first cinema experience? No. You know, in the first one, they went to Australia, they visited the Queen... The first one referring to my first cinema experience, which I did review, and that will be linked below. That was amazing. This one was good, but it was different. In this one, they went to the cinema to see Mr. Potato Man the movie. Uh, there was a lot of music, like eating your vegetables, five times a day. Oh yes, oh yes, I remember this song. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your thigh. Oh, that was a brilliant song. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your... F there was more movements, but um, I'm um, too lazy uh, to do the movements. But it goes like... It goes like... um. Fruit and vegetables keep us alive. Always remember to eat your five. Yes. Okay, so that was one of the songs. I know in the last review I done some of the songs. So that was uh, whenever they were saying the Mr. Potato Man movie. I, I think one of my favourite parts of the film is, when is whenever they were making uh, pizza. And in the episode, they actually brought up... I was actually thinking, are they going to bring up pineapple? And they did. George, my man, loves pineapples. And Daddy Pig, although he's one of my favourite characters, he does not. And that kind of disappointed me. Um, at the same time, it was my favourite part of the movie. Because it was the whole name of... Pineapple on pizza, which is a very new and relevant meme. And I'm really glad Peppa Pig uh, done that. Um, because it's kind of like self-aware that you're watching it for the meme. And that's a meme in and of itself. So it's kind of like memeception. Um, another exception was whenever they were at the cinema. But you were most likely also watching at the cinema. So it was a cinema inside a cinema. If you think about it that way. I would say that this movie was pretty good. Um, one of the criticisms I had were the children. 
That's the main audience. But I think it should just remain the audience. Not the actual people in the film. And it's funny the way they didn't use Peppa. Because Healy Bird is like, what, 16 something at this stage? Um, Let me actually look it up. So it's kind of like, you know, it would kind of be weird to have her and then everyone else is like three and four. But the thing with that is, they weren't really good. You know, it's not like Andy from Child's Play, you know. It's not like you're going to hit a home run every time. Especially when you have more than one children. Now, I'm not saying that they didn't try. It's just, they did, but a wee bit. See, this is a movie that's going out to millions of people across the world. Not a school play. So they should have had either much better child actors. Or in the first one, my first cinema experience, which I believe is the first theatrical Peppa Pig movie. Golden Boots was like a 15 minute thing. I could be wrong about that. But in that film, they had like an adult presenter. Which I kind of, I kind of preferred. Um, her name is actually Hardy Bird. Um, she's actually seventeen, and she's two months younger than me. Other than that, minor criticism. This was a night. I said the first one had more. Like there was the Queen of England. There was this film. Felt like more chill. And that's not always a bad thing. Because you're going to see Peppa Pig in the cinema. In the cinema. That is amazing. That is incredible. But it was just. Them going to get strawberries. Them looking at birds. Them going to see a movie in the cinema. The festival I think was the big thing. And that was left near the last number of episodes. But I definitely say that you thought, oh, it's going to end here. And then another one came. I feel like we definitely got our money's worth. But it's kind of balancing that out. And also balancing out the fact that the main audience for the film is younger children. So we kind of need to balance out time. And still getting your money's worth. Because you don't want a film that's too short. And people would feel ripped off. You know. But you don't want the film that's too long. Because the main audience for the film would be younger children. And also adults probably wouldn't want to. You know have that like. Drag on. You know so there's that aspect to it as well. Now I really also liked the um, guinea pigs. They were, they were like shitting everywhere. They were like burping. They were like... They were one of the best smaller animals on Peppa Pig. Now I know Peppa Pig is mainly about animals. Although the queen, I'm not sure that was a human. In my opinion, Peppa Pig would have been better if it's all animals. But it mostly is, for the most part, all animals. And Peppa Pig... Festival of fun, I must brush your hair, wash your hands. I'm not sure there's anything about teeth in there, but that's important too. Now, I don't think George was crying in the film, but there was still a bit of resentment, like George didn't want... I believe he didn't want to take a bath after he was in the muddy puddles. So I like the resentment between George and Grandmummy uh, Peg. Um, Grand Grandpa Pig was hilarious in the film too. Daddy Pig was hilarious. I'd say the characters was amazing. Rebecca Rabbit, no, not uh, no, Mummy Rabbit. Sorry, it was the Mummy Rabbit. Um, I really just don't know how she can do all this at once. Like, I believe there was an episode of Peppa Pig where they showed you Mummy Pig's job. I'm not sure if it was Daddy Pig or Mummy Pig's job, but Rebecca Rabbit was also there. And I believe she was also like a firefighter. In this film, she had so many roles. She was she was doing the projection for the cinema. 
she was at the festival doing the different things. Now, there was a part in the festival where they were looking at concrete, but they didn't actually talk about it. In my opinion, what would have made the movie better is if they actually would have talked about it, even for a little bit. They did bring up concrete, but they didn't actually say how it was made. An improvement would have been to have said how it was made. I'm not sure if that's in like the director's cut or the unweighted version, but definitely maybe a little bit more should have been added there. Overall, this was just a, a fun, family-friendly movie. Um, another annoyance, now this was a slight, slight annoyance. It was funny a little bit, but I can't remember, I think it's, I can't remember the name. So I literally looked up, right, Peppa Pig Boy Elephant. And it says here, what is, the, I'm going to, um, before I show you this, I'm going to hide my bookmarks. Um... Okay, it says, what is the name of the elephant in Peppa Pig, right? And it literally says, Mummy Zebra. We're not talking about zebras, we're talking about elephants. Look, if you can see it there, I'm not sure. It says, what is the name of the elephant on Peppa Pig? Why does it talk about zebras if you're talking about elephants? In what world does that make sense? I don't know. Yeah, Um. his name is Emin... Uh, Hey, hello, Jesus, it's new. Okay, 10% remaining, okay. Right. Close, look, I'm hitting close and I won't close. At Edmund Elephant. Okay. He was funny in the film, but at, but at the same time, it kind of got to the point where he was, he was like smart, and that's kind of like a meme in Peppa Pig. Or the or Edmund, Edmund Elephant is smart. Like, oh no, the name is like they're like they were saying, what uh, in the TV Land episode where they were saying where they were looking at how uh, TV is created, like how the TV um, signal is sent out. Uh, they were like, it's magic, and and Edmund was like, no, it's science. It was funny, but it kind of got to the point where it was like annoying. Like there was one part where they were singing the Five a Day song. Um, Fruit and vegetables keep you alive. Don't forget to eat your five or something like that. And he's like, doctors today say it's seven. And then don't forget to eat your seven. It kind of got on where like he kept correcting everyone saying like, oh no, this is how you actually know. It, it was okay, but I think they should have cut down Edmund Elephant's dialogue a little bit, or at least where he wasn't correcting everyone all the time. Uh, just a minor annoyance. But overall, I would say this was a hilarious, feel-good, fantastic movie. Now, I could be wrong, but I don't believe this is any longer in cinema. I came out in April. Uh, with my assignments and everything, I had to kind of wait to watch it. But I did watch it, and I'm glad I did. Now, I, I'm not sure if it's still in cinema, because whenever the last time I looked, it wasn't. Today, Thursday, the... I want to say 21st, 22nd? Thursday, the 22nd. Um, It could be coming to DVD. My first cinema experience, I believe, was on DVD. This could be also... So there's just that to look out to look out for. But overall, if you've got a chance to watch it and you're a fan of Peppa Pig, watch it. If you're not a fan of Peppa Pig, get a fan of Peppa Pig and watch it. Okay? Become a fan because it's a good show. Noi, pronto. Right. Not much else I can add, but other but other than the fact it was a really decent running time, pretty good. Um, it balanced out really well. Value for money plus the attention spam of the audience of the people watching. It had good dialogue. It was funny. It, it was entertaining. It was it was pretty capturing. I'd say my first cinema experience. If I had to choose between the two, I'd choose that one only because the number of children was less, so it was less annoying. 
Another this one was annoying. It was just the adult presenter, in my opinion, was better because she was more experienced. And it was more like entertaining. Like they went to Australia. There was the Queen. It was more like memorable. But this one was still good too. I like the guinea pigs, the crocodile alligators or crocodiles, I believe. The characters were good. Another good thing that I've noticed about Peppa Pig is the most recent episodes. And in this film, I really think there was a good use of diversity. If you notice, there was a character at the festival in a wheelchair. And there's also darker characters, fatter characters, such as Daddy Pig. Um, old characters, such as Grandma and Grandpa Pig. Young characters, such as Peppa and George. And the young children. Even the children were very diverse. There was females, males, black children, uh, white children, um, children with different needs. And I really think Peppa Pig is good at capturing that diverse market. And that's another plus that I need to add to the movie. Although there were minuses to the movie, there was also a lot of pluses that make up for it. Therefore, making the movie very good. There was enough of all characters. Of course, one of my favourites being Daddy Pig. But again, the part where Daddy Pig was like, pineapple isn't good on pizza. It kind of made me lose a bit of trust in the character. But still, um, his character is one of my favourite. Now, one of the things I forgot to do when ending the first uh, review in 2017 of my first cinema experience, one of the things I forgot to do was go on the ground and laugh. I can't remember if I had a rating system in the first movie, but this movie is definitely five daddy pigs out of five. Um, one of the things I forgot to do is in, in most, I'd say 99.99% before the Peppa Pig episode ends, everyone's on the ground laughing. That's what I forgot to do. So before I end the review, I'm going to be on the ground laughing. That's pretty much it, guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace, peace, guys. Now, let's uh, get this like that. And like that. Okay. Okay. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Oh, I'm not in frame. Let me get in frame. Ha 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 ha. 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 Hopefully my parents aren't out there like where the hell did we go wrong in this kid? Ha 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 ha. I'm going to have the episode end here. Like I said before, how Peppa Pig ends with everyone laughing. Ha 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 ha. I love muddy puddles. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Peace. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. Ha 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 ha. And cut. Awesome. Ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Fine. I really think I meant to see the Peppa Pig movie. Of course I didn't. Uh, I just paid some loser to go watch it for me. <laughs> oh my god, dumb retards actually think I watched the film. <laughs> oh my god, I must return this um, George figurine to a child because it's not mine. <laughs> oh, oh, oof, oof. I must return these cinema tickets to the person that actually went to watch it because that certainly wasn't me. Uh, <laughs> uh, oh, oh, and this, this, uh, George Pig pillow, um, oh, shit, I'm looking at the cam. Oh, and, and this George Pig pillow must return that to the actual pe the losers that actually own this thing, which certainly isn't me. Oh my god, they, they actually believed it, they actually believed I went to see the film, and this, uh, where is it here? This, uh, Peppa Pig game, um, I must return it to the actual owners. Because it isn't me, because I don't own it, because I'm not sad. Um, yep, and that is pretty much it. Ah, uh, edit this shit, oh my god. Ugh.